Thanks, Tom. It's safe to bring more children back to the classroom. That's what the Onondaga County Health Commissioner decided after a careful analysis of the data. Students can now sit three feet apart instead of six with added barriers. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc checks in with superintendents to see what's next. Onondaga County superintendents asking parents for some patience. Though the health department has deemed it safe to lessen the distance between kids in the classroom, it'll take some time. We all want kids in school learning. Um, we just we just need to do that with integrity and, and with with due, due thought as to how to do that safely. Two weeks ago, Casey Bardoon surveyed parents in the West Hill Central School District. Overwhelmingly, he says most want their kids in school five days a week. Though the new guidance gives clarification, it raises questions. What does the day schedule look like with all the students back in? Remember, these schedules were all built based on the hybrid model. So we're really we're shifting that dramatically. Bardoon needs answers on things like transportation, lunch and gym class. Most of his classrooms can fit the kids at three feet with barriers, but that all depends on how many opt in for in person learning. We, we desire to reach the same goal. Donna Desiato is in the same boat, excited for this opportunity, but reviewing the plans carefully before going ahead with them. At ESM, most elementary students are in school. This particular guidance, while it will open more seats if we reduce the six feet social distancing, um, it it will expand what we've already continued to do. But when it comes to logistics, it's like starting from square one. To some degree, that's absolutely true. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Both ESM and West Hill plan to send out a survey to parents again to get the numbers so they can work on classroom reconstruction. Now with that and many other plans to look over, these changes could take a while to implement.